This is his first time in the U.S. that is being seen, debut. Hi, my name is Willie Flores Jr. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I came across this truck in November of 21. This truck lived in the UK since the day it was made in 1994. It took about four months or so to build in Shipshewana by a guy named Paul Scase. And by December of 94, he took it across to the United Kingdom. So this truck lived in the UK for the entire 27 years. It's 28 years old now since I brought it back May of 22. So it's been nothing but a show truck. It never worked. Yeah, so God blessed us and uh, we brought it back. The truck is a 1995 Peterbilt 379. It's got a 3406E E model, and it's got a Eaton 13-speed transmission. And uh, the miles on it right now are about 78,500. Mostly everything was done over there in the UK. They ordered a lot of parts from the US and shipped them across because they don't make Peterbilt parts over there. They painted the engine. They ordered a lot of chrome bolts stainless steel parts, they done everything. But when we brought it back in May of 22, the only thing that we've done so far is we took the 24 inch wheels off and we went to 22 wheels. And I went to a bigger 365 tire in the front instead of the regular tires that they put on there. And then we put an aluminum fifth wheel because they used to have a metal fifth wheel. We put aluminum one, it looks a lot nicer. That's about all I've done is the wheels and the fifth wheel. The sleeper is a double eagle sleeper, which uh, is very rare and hard to find because they don't make them no more. You know, that double eagle company went out of business. So to find a double eagle, it's a rare, rare model. And to find one like this that hasn't even been worked, you know, it's rare. So the double eagle, I mean, it'll turn some heads. Those, those old school truck drivers, they know. They see a double eagle, they're like, wow, that's a beautiful sleeper. So the interior, it's still original from the way they designed it in 1994. It's just original. That's what makes it unique. We call it living the dream. Me and my wife have a unique story. She had dreams of being with a truck driver before we met. So when we met in 2013, she told me about her dreams. She dreamt that she was with a truck driver. And it's, it's funny how the dreams were to the detail and everything came to pass. And we saw the truck and the back of the truck has a vinyl letters that says living the dream. So when I seen it on Facebook for sale, I showed my wife, I said, look, living the dream and they're selling it. And she gave me the okay, gave me the thumbs up. It's meant to be, yep.